Thanksgiving was coming in just a few days, and Christopher got into another fight with his family. The family would fight more often than other families, and Christopher was always wrong in their eyes. Nonetheless, he was sent to the store to get all of the food for the celebration. As he went inside, the floor felt cold, and the building empty. I can't wait to get this over with and to have them off my back. What's even the point of celebrating anything if I'm just going to be screamed at for every little thing? Well, whatever. Where's the turkey? Christopher looked at the turkey in the distance and felt relieved. Oh, they're not sold out after all. All right, this shouldn't take too long then, he thought. And at that moment, someone else entered the store. The stranger in the store was a weird one. Christopher couldn't see him, but he could feel someone approaching. It wasn't sudden either. Small steps that you wouldn't pay attention to unless it was right in front of you. one left. Christopher had a lot on his mind. Those constant fights with his family, problems at work, barely any social life, and no money or hope to get out of it all. If that's not enough problems, he's also stuck in this dark, cold supermarket. And then he realized there's a voice in his head telling him his thoughts and actions. His flashlight turns off. The stranger in the store is walking closer. Can he hear the footsteps? How could he? He's listening to the voice in his head.
Christopher thought maybe he should just leave with what he has so far, but it wasn't time to lock the door yet. The lights were getting dimmer. He didn't mind sitting in the darkness alone though, but he wasn't. Not yet. should get two. I was afraid they might not have everything. But here you are. Just before Thanksgiving. I'm almost done. There's just one more left.
that's it. Christopher got everything on the list. It's time to go home and prepare for the celebration. It's going to be a one this year. And that was it. The police found Christopher all alone in his house. Neighbors heard the screams and did not hesitate to call for help. The door was locked so they broke the front door to get in. And then what they saw was unforgettable. The food was nicely prepared on the big family table. Everyone was sitting in their seats so calmly like never before. No one spoke a word. No one complained. They couldn't even move a muscle of their still hearts. Christopher was finally free from all of life's problems. It was truly a great Thanksgiving. Thank you.